All right, what is up, my friends? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Standard time, standard's great, and we're excited. Playing a whole bunch of standard today. We are playing a bunch of different interesting decks, and uh, we're starting out with this deck that um, I promised last week and uh, did not deliver because uh, time was not on my side. However, now we're back, and it's a new week, and we have time. So, we are playing Elves in standard. That's right, Elves. We got Llanowar Elves, of course, the most famous Elf. But questions are, what are the payoffs? You know, why are we playing Elves? And uh, there's a few big reasons. One, because they're cool. Two, because we have Elvish Clan Caller, sort of a, a hidden Elf Lord in M19, because there isn't really a ton of Elf support. We got Marwyn the Nurturer. Whenever an Elf comes to the battlefield, it gets bigger, adds much mana. Um, and then we got new cards in uh, in Beast Whisper, which is essentially a glimpse of the unthinkable. Glimpse the unthinkable. Glimpse of nature, not a glimpse of the unthinkable. That's a different card. On a stick, uh, two, three for four. That's not very good. But obviously, if we are drawing a card for every elf, it's gonna be very, very good. We're saying elves today. Elves. I'm gonna make everyone annoyed. Everyone's gonna come in and correct me and be really annoying. So elves today. And we also got Vanquisher's Banner. Same idea. Um, very powerful card, very high upfront cost, but if you untap with it, same thing. Uh, Glimpse of Nature, whenever you cast a creature spell, you draw a card. Pumps team as well. We also have um, some other just good cards here. Uh, Pelt Collector, obviously one of the great new one drops in the format. We got uh, Thorn Lieutenant, very solid two drop. And of course, Steel Leaf Champion, which is a monster house. And then we got uh, four Adventurer's Impulse. Uh, unfortunately, this can't find our Vanquisher's Banner, but it finds everything else. So, we are, um, we're rolling here. 20 forests, no interaction really. We're just going to play a bunch of elves, and uh, we're going to beat down a bit. We're going to draw a lot of cards, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully make some mana, and go from there. Cyborg's got Shaper Sanctuary against removal decks, and we got Diamond Mare against red decks and aggressive decks. Rex Ages against artifacts and enchantments. I'm not sure which one of those we want to kill. Uh, four Vine Mare, if our opponents are playing... Uh, you know, either black creatures or a lot of removal spells, Vine Mare can come in and do the job, and two Vivian Reeds. Um, this might just be better than Vanquisher's Banner in the main deck, in that it does a similar thing of drawing cards, but also can kill flyers and things of that nature. But um, pretty simple deck list, honestly. Just all four ofs, 20 lands, and looks pretty fun. So let's just jump right in. It's elf time. It's elf time. Good morning, everyone. Duncan Dinos. You play a lot of Duncan Dinos, all right? You gotta mix it up. A lot of fun decks in the queue. Uh, Whiteout, Turbo Niv, Rakdos Burn. A lot of comes, cool stuff coming up this, uh, this stream. So, good morning, everyone. Elf time. Of course, I was at GP New Jersey uh, this weekend. Uh, it didn't go great. I made day two at 6 2. And then I was like. I don't know, I was like 10 and 3 or 9 and 3 or something, and I lost my last few rounds. Kind of stinks. Our deck was pretty good. Um, I had some rough rounds, unfortunately, but I played the uh, Green Black Carnage Tyrant deck. You can see on CoolStuffInc.com. That's right, CoolStuffInc.com. Don't forget, of course, now sponsors of a stream and my new home on the web. That's right. Card games, board games, miniatures, role playing games, supplies, you name it. If it has to do with games, it's on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. And of course, I have an article every Friday, and I have a video every Monday. And in Monday's video, I played the deck that I played in the Grand Prix for the most part. It's a deck that uh, Andrew, Andrew Jessup had worked on, and me, Andrew, his brother Dan, Ben Friedman, and Pete Ingram all played it. Pete top 32'd. Most of us made day two. Um, pretty interesting take on Golgari. Check it out on CoolStuffInc.com. Midnight Slayer resub. Thank you. Elf time. Uh, yeah, sure. Wish this Druidic of the Cow was Lano or Elf, but I'll take it. Sub, baby. Sub crown. Uh, the trip was fun. 
Uh, I didn't do as well as I would have liked, but main phase opt, I like it. I did not play against the, the Immortal Sun in the tournament at all. Um, played against the Mirror 100 million times. And unfortunately, our Carnage Tyrant tech was um, on display. Don't play a Goblin, please. Thank God. But one of the things about this deck, of course, is that we have no removal. So um, they play a creature, it's in a stick. So drew to the Cowl again. So we can go double two drop here or Marwin. Um, I think I like double two drop. If you play Marwin and it dies, we haven't really got anywhere. Whereas if you play another Druid, we're guaranteed for Banner next turn. Yeah, I think I like that. And we can hold the, uh, the Clan Caller, I think. So ideally we can Banner next turn. So... Burnsy. What do you all think about Arena versus Magic Online when it comes to standard stuff? People on YouTube complain about Arena. People complain about everything. People complain, why aren't you playing Arena? People complain, why are you playing Arena? You always complain a lot, you know? Sonic, I just would not play Mastermind's Acquisition. And that card is very, very bad. It is extremely slow and clunky. I like playing Arena. I do agree that you have better testing on Magic Online. Also, the big thing is I don't have all the cards on Arena. So, that makes it difficult. Adventures, Impulse. We could cast this and try and find a land and make a land drop. If we miss on land, though, we can't cast Banner, which is devastating. So I think we're going to just play uh, play the Banner here, try and get set up for next turn. Uh, how about Elf? We're playing an Elf deck. going to attack, and they're probably going to block and whatever, but... Furious we're not playing on Chandler. Shot of course. So we are on like a, probably a four turn clock here. So we're going to need to kill our opponent. We can't really derp around. Uh oh, that's, that's probably a three turn clock now. This card's really, really good. This is the card that makes the Drake deck good. Maximize velocity. Oh my god. Maybe it's, maybe it's two turn clock. Pretty sure we're just dead here. Um, there is no way they don't kill us next turn with six cards in hand. That kind of stinks. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like we're really dead. The Drake deck does kill very fast. They have nine power. It is almost impossible for them to not cast two spells next turn or a creature. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, well, that sucked. Unfortunately, um, we, uh, there are a lot of creatures that need killing in standard, and we can't really kill them in our main deck. Bring in some Vivians. Um, we can shave a Banner. And maybe shave a Whisper. And I don't think Diamond Mare is going to really be a... Harpooner is a big one. Yeah, we're, not, we're playing zero Harpooner. We definitely need Harpooners in this deck. Very, very good call. Uh, I played two Harpooner in my Golgari deck. It was very, very good. Yeah. Harpooner's real good. White Splash? I don't think a White Splash is necessary. I'm going to keep. But... Harpooner kills a lot of stuff. All right. Well, Vivian's gone. Drew to the cowls here, which is good. Try and cast these banners as fast as possible. Right. 
Harpooner is basically just a Doom Blade for, um, oh wow. They, uh, seem to have kept a bad hand, and they shocked the face. We have this Marwin. Do we just cast the Mar? I mean, same problem as last time. We cast Marwin and they kill it. Um... They could have moved to discard, discarded a phoenix if they had it. They did not. What's up, Nine Ball? Thoughts on Nullhide, Ferox? I mean, we can't cast our banners then. We can't cast our impulses then. On Silent Ninja with the resub. Oh, my Marwin. They um they have to kill it, or it's gonna be really big. So if they have to waste their turn killing it. Just buys us another turn. Hopefully we draw a land and play play banner. Yeah, that's fun. Land, please. Run it back. Crash through. And discard. Pretty exciting uh, start to our games here. You know? Alright, so we have to play... Um, we can play an elf and then... Wait, no, never mind. The banner pumps power, too, so... We can go... This is pretty sweet. We can go this. Now this thing taps for two. We can cast a Thorn Lieutenant. Draw a card. Obviously, life, it's really easy when your opponent doesn't do anything, so... It's not like I'm losing my voice. Oh, I, I think I'm fun. All right, so opponent misses all their land drops. Not a very exciting match so far. Uh, they just kill us, and then they miss all these land drops and die. Hopefully we have an interesting uh, interesting game three here. Burnsy. Burnsy's all about it today. He's all about it. Can't draw land or elves, which is unfortunately the best card in our deck, but that's okay. I guess we gotta keep this. We may just die a horrible death here, but we do have a one, two, three, four, five curve. It's the classic one to five curve, you know. Pelt collector. Yeah, I mean, we gotta play the Pelt Collector. All right. We will cast Impulse for lands if we miss a land drop. Otherwise, we'll probably just go creature, creature, creature here. Charter Course is carding Phoenix. And there's Land or Elves. Um, we're going to play Impulse for a land and cast Land or Elves. Yeah. We missed a land. That's a huge tilt. Alright, take Druid. We're playing only 20 lands, obviously. It's possible the impulse is just be like two lands and two more spells, but nothing? Wow. This feels like a, a cannonade, which is really bad for us. Um, it's greater power. Yeah, I think we're gonna probably druid pre-combat and then attack. They had ca Canada, I'm not sure why they wouldn't just cast it initially, but... This is very peculiar. Like, if they had the Canada, they should have probably cast it on their turn. They're being greedy about it. I, we can't cast this line or off. I just think it's too likely they have it. Like, I just can't imagine they would have nothing to do on their turn three with six cards in hand. Like, their entire deck is just cantrips that cost two mana and one mana. I'm saying go here. Yep. Okay. I mean, we got a free damage in. It's cool. Didn't draw land, unfortunately, but... I got a two for one. Bim, bidum, bum, bum, bum. Crash through. 
Can they bring back the Phoenix? Yes, they can. They maximize velocity, my druid of the cow. How sick would it be if we had... Never mind. Alright, there's a Phoenix. And they have killed our mana, and it's turn four, and we didn't draw land. We did draw land. Cool. Um, so Steel Leaf Champion and Race, or play Lana Rolf and Lieutenant. Try and set up for future turns. The problem is, like, our deck draws cards really well, but, like, our opponent's deck just kind of kills us really fast. So drawing cards doesn't really matter that much. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna play the champion. Tormenting voice. Yeah, I lost to a Phoenix deck at the GP that had all four Phoenixes in play by turn like five in game two. It's pretty silly. It's not great. All right, I mean, we got some stuff. Again, these cards just aren't very good in this matchup. These things are pretty quick, but... I'm going to hope they break off here. Wow. They are... Looks like they're breaking off, so that's cool. Um, I think we're going to get some options. We can, we can Vivian and just kill the Phoenix and just mush... We can play Banner. I think I like just killing the Phoenix. Like, if they had no spells last turn, they only had three cards in hand, they might, might, might be to be flooded. Um, I could have a counter spell too, but whatever. Make them deal with this. I'm getting for seven, which is pretty sweet. And now they need to deal with the Vivian Reed as well as. Oh, they've dived down? Sure. Alright, that's fun. I don't necessarily mind that. Any turn they attack Vivian, the turn they're not attacking us. So I'm cool with that. All right, so we still send in the Steel Leaf Champion. If they have a Shock plus Arclight Phoenix, that's fine too, because now they're almost out of spells. So, his Cannonade would stink. All right, I guess that's bad. But still have a Planeswalker and a creature, and they only have two cards in hand, so it's somewhat unlikely they can bring the Phoenix back. That works too. Um, the Boros Angels deck that Brad Nelson and friends played at the GP seems cool. Uh, we may we may play that later in the stream. Just one of the decks on the docket. Does Turbo Fog have a place in the metagame? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm a little surprised that deck is is like non-existent. Um, We're kind of like just punking around here. Banner does increase the clock and they can't bolt it, so. Like they're at 8, we're at 11. They do have a velocity, so any Drake will probably kill us. Yeah. Okay. Matchup does not seem very good. Um. They have many, many large flyers that kill us. Give me four, uh, four harpooners in the sideboard, and maybe we have, maybe we have a better chance there. But um, that's definitely a deck building issue. No harpooners. I found this was somewhere online. I don't recall exactly where. Yeah. So, if you're shooting, you welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Don't forget to check out my video article on CoolStuffInc.com. Once again, CoolStuffInc.com video article all about Carnage Tyrant Golgari. And of course, my article last Friday was all about Overlook Standard Cards from Guilds of Ravnica. Check those out. This hand is interesting. We're going to keep it, but it's a little weird. Um, we have no creatures with power greater than one. I'll need a land or else. Do, 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 do. Alright, Golgari. Druid of the Cow. So 
So, you just gotta draw a big, nice payoff, you know? Looks like they're playing the Carnage Tyrant esque version of Golgari. Alright, well, we have all the mana in the world and all the creatures in the world. Now we just need to draw something to pay us off. Maybe a banner or something? What's up, Jay? How do you avoid getting two for one when you're playing elves? I mean, it's kind of hard to, honestly, at times. Like, you know. Alright, they have revealed a swamp and a jade light ranger. Alright, big payoff. Here it comes. Banner. Steel Leaf Champion? That could be worse. Alright, so Pelt Collectors get bigger. And if we attack with both, they can trade one with the Jade Light Ranger, and the other will get bigger. I'm cool with that. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know how this card works. Great event, got it. Okay, still fine, I guess. It's not ideal, but Euphoria. Hello, YouTube viewers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also come over to Twitch and watch Jim live. And Doss, new stuff from Australia. What's up, my friend? Awesome. Thanks for watching the YouTube. Carnage Tyrant Swamp. All right. Well, how about a, a Beast Whisperer? Well, they didn't Chupacabra us, so I'm going to assume this Beast Whisperer is probably good. Uh, it doesn't pump anything, but... So we're going to play Beast Whisperer, and we're going to hope it lives. That's our immediate goal. We're going to empty our hand out. We might want to make land drops next turn. This is a matchup where our grindy cards seem good, unlike last matchup where they seem really bad. Oh my god. I mean, I, I don't think we really had a way to play around that, honestly. Because we put a bunch of crap in play, and that's what our deck does, so... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if this is like a fun card for standard. Like, giving the mid range decks a free Wrath of God also seems a little tough. Hmm. Yeah, and Veraska can just kill this. Okay. That wasn't very fun. All right, so the elf the elf experiment is not going too well. Um, people wanted to see this deck really bad last week. Well, here you go, folks. Now you're seeing it. Hope you're enjoying yourselves. Um, yeah, about that. Let's bring in some Vivian Reeds, I guess. And yeah, unfortunately, our methods of replenishing are often creature based. I don't think we want Vine Mare. They just have a bunch of creatures to block it. It just dies to the finality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, cut like. I don't even know what to cut. I mean, like, Thorn Lieutenant is not super necessary. Sure. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, they don't have that much targeted removal. So Shaper Sanctuary does not seem very good. Marwin seems very powerful if it lives. Um, but Thorn Lieutenant seems like one of the worst cards. That it's just going to be brick wall by all of their random explorer creatures. So, alright, well this hand's good. So. Yeah, 
the old turn two steel leaf on the play. How do I beat Wrath of God? I don't know if we can, but we're going to try. So, champs here. One of the nice things about um, you know, you you, you want to play a tribal deck, it's cool, but it's good to have powerful cards in your deck too. So, moment of craving on the Lano Elf. Adventurous impulse. Another Steel Leaf champion or a Lano Elf. We're taking Lano Elf so we can cast uh, turn four Vivian Reed. Yes, we are certainly certainly lacking interaction. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so they reveal Chupacabra and give their Jade Light Ranger four power. So kind of a tilt. Um, we're gonna play Vivian. Cause our Steelers gonna die. I should just tax our Steelers gonna die anyway. Yeah, I should have just probably done that. The top card is. All right, we're gonna get put the pelt collector in play, or in our hand, I mean. All right, so they're gonna chupacabra our, our thingy and attack our Vivian. Get to play more stuff. Thoughts on Gabriel Nassif getting second with a mono blue deck? I mean, Nassif's obviously great, one of the best players of all time. Mono blue deck seems fine. So, Beast Whisperer. Um, that's actually not bad. We go Beast Whisperer plus Pelt Collector, and then draw a card. And then they have to deal with the Whisperer, and then we can play a bunch of stuff after it. Let's have it on Marwyn. If we, if we get a land, we can go Pelt Collector, 2-drop, 3-drop. But I think the card advantage is more important. Although if they have Finality, we're going to lose anyway, it doesn't matter, but... Uh, you know, let's get this. Vivian's, Vivian's gonna die, and it is what it is, so. Protecting Vivian seems too difficult, so it's not really worth doing. We drew two cards off of it, gained some life off of it, it's fine. So we could chop with Pell Collector and keep Vivian alive. Pelt Collector can't get past 4-4, four, four, which is exact death to finality range, which is unfortunate. And we just block, and we just block. Get your card up, Vivian. Carnage Tyrant Swamp. Morning, Adam. Morning, everyone. If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. Another Pell Collector. That's pretty cool. It's almost ideal, because we can play that, draw a card. Beast Whisperer? Okay. This is going pretty good. Nah, we're playing uh, Magic On today in that arena. Um, we can go Marwyn Thorn Lieutenant. I'm kind of cool with that. Leave the bigger creatures in our hand. Draw some cards. Go Clan Caller also, but that won't pump the Pelt Collector. So Marwyn's bigger, Pell Collector's bigger, and we have Lieutenant. I'm doing tons of different standard decks today. Just uh, Elves is the first one. So far, our deck does not seem very good, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we got trounced by the Blue-Red Drake's deck in match number one, and we lost uh, game one of this match to finality really bad, but this game looks better. Maraska. It's the ultimate. Target player's life total becomes one. Alright, they have killed our pelt, I mean our thingy. Beast Whisperer. Both attack Vivian. Um, now we need to swing back and put pressure on this, this Maraska. 
So it's on three. Actually, we only need one creature to get through. Um, we need two possible. We can't. We can't save this without chump blocking. So the question is, we just chump block the lieutenant on the on the jade light. Then it's really hard to attack their Varaska. I'm gonna let that just die. We have um, we still have Beast Whisper in our hand. We have a lot of mana now. We should be in a reasonable shape. We can go Beast Whisper, uh, Clan Caller, Steel Leaf Champion, probably something like that. We want to make this Pelt Collector bigger, but it doesn't really need to be that big. Let's we'll start here. So this makes Marwin bigger. Let me go Clan Caller. I suppose we're setting ourselves up to be destroyed by finality here, but I don't think we really have a choice, honestly. So let's say it's five mana. Draw a Lenore Elf. I mean, I guess our Marwin's getting really big, so we're just going off here. All right. Um. Oh, it's clan caller. What did I say? I said chancellor. Hmm. All right. Um, so now we get to kill Varaska. It says trample now, right? Oh, uh, it needs to have the actual counters, not be four power. Okay. So Varaska, Varaska, them. We're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. I'd say as long as we can get a few creatures out of finality range, Marwin in particular, I think we're not in bad shape. Marwin seems surprisingly important here. That's fine by me. So if they finality, we lose everything but a large Marwin. Then we have a Steel Leaf in our hand. Sweet. Carnage Tyrant. Not very good against a deck with no spells in it. I would say our opponent seems pretty dead. That's even 5 5. I can clan caller for another clan caller, right? Uh, I guess we don't have any great attacks. I guess the Steel Leaf Champion can attack. Oh, they conceded. And Jersey was fine. Well, we have four forests in our hand, but that was sweet. We kind of did our thing there, right? Um, yeah, run that back. Having the uh, the Beast Whisperer actually in play and untapping with it seems sweet. Um, casting it kind of sucks. Like the initial spending of four mana on a two three doesn't do anything. But untapping with it sweet. And it sounds fine. I will not be in GP Atlanta now. Shaper Sanctuary is not good here. They have like five target removal spells. I played Green Black Carnage Tyrant. Again, folks. First thing you should do every Monday morning is hop over to CoolStuffInc.com and check out my video. I play mostly the deck that I played at the GP. All right, there you go. Why not I played? Here it is. It's what I actually played as well as what I played in the video. Check it out. I would say Wayward Swordtooth is far too cute. No, I said Nicole is not going to New Jersey. So. Jim, what up? Pop Man, sir. Thanks for cheer. Appreciate that. Um, What is going on here? It looks like we are stuck. They have past priority, but we can't do anything either. Magic Online, are you okay? Yes, there are. We have elves to cast here. Many, many elves.
Well, while you're waiting for our opponent, check out that Lincoln Jet. Cool stuff. Inc.com. All right, well, we're Beast Whispering it up, so unfortunately they made Chupacabra right before we can use it, but we have these one drops which you can hold on to, which is great. So let's um impulse for a land. Marwin's pretty good too. We need, we need, we need his land, I think. And then we can uh, let's play Druid and set up for next turn. If we can play Whisper and a one drop in the same turn and guarantee value, that makes me really happy. Elfsies? Swampland or else. Good land or elf. Ugly land or elf. Good land or elf. Ugly land or elf. Steel Leaf Champion. Draw a card. Alright, that is a lot of Pell Collectors. So, a Chupacabra, our Whisperer. Ideally, we draw a land next turn and can go Whisperer, Pelt Collector, Pelt Collector. I don't think this hand can realistically afford to play around Finality, so... I'm almost have it tempted to trade here. This plays around Finality anyway. We're not going to play a larger creature. I'm just going to block. Clan Caller. Alright, well... Here's the Whisperer. Let's please draw a land here so we can uh, play the second one drop. Didn't draw a land. Tilt. Why not two collectors first? Chupacabra. God damn it. We want to save our collectors to draw cards off Whisperer. Now that ship is sailed. But Marwin? That's kind of dope. And they didn't play a land so they can't find out next turn. So that's also pretty dope. Let's... um. Let's do some stuff. I guess we're going to Marwin for sure. Question is, what do we do after Marwin? Do we play Pell Collector or the Clan Caller? Clan Caller allows for, does not allow for an attack. I think I like Clan Caller, just more mana efficient. Alright, not going to attack here, it's a bad attack, so. They don't play a land next turn, we're going nuts, which will play everything. Alright, well, with Jade Light Ranger, they're likely to play a land. I'd imagine they would bin that, they found the land. Alright, crap. So now they have Finality set up for next turn. Um, Not really much we can do here besides just play everything and hope they don't, hope they don't have Finality, honestly. They have four cards in hand, they're all spells. Like... We can get Marwin above. I guess we could play the, play the smaller creatures, and just get Marwin above um above a uh, four four. Problem is we can't make anything else bigger to survive the finality. Um, we could save some Steel Leaf champions, I guess, for post finality world. I could also Clan Caller end step if they don't do it. So right now this is three, four, five. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna want to make some attacks too. I think to try and uh, just get some damage in. All right, we're gonna play the, the one drops. So we'll just hold the Steel Leaf champions. Um, every one drop is basically free anyway with Marwin. So all right, so Marwin taps for five. We have six mana here with Clan Caller. I'm just gonna bash. And then basically, if they, if they have it, they have it. We'll have a huge Marwin. We'll cast Double Steel of Champion and go from there and hope we, hope we can win. I mean, without if it, without Finality, they, they absolutely cannot win this game at all. So, I think they, they also need another land for Finality, too. So. Okay, so they're gonna. Doesn't really matter what we do here. All right, I mean, we're just gonna do. We're gonna do this anyway because they either have it. They, they have it or they don't. No, nothing really changes. We're gonna have a large Marwin regardless. So I 
All right. Go Nuts opponent, finality us. Oh, they drew the land. We will have a 7-7 Marwin. We can cast double Steel Leaf Champion. He'll also just play a champion and attack for eight. That works too. This card's pretty good. Honestly, it's not too bad. Uh, Pell Collector will not survive. It'll be the biggest it can be is a four four, and all the pump all the pump effects die. So you really can't make anything survive finality. Right. Yeah, you got it. I don't know. It took so long. I can't imagine they have other options. All right, it's only a five five. I'm done. All right, so yeah, just go champ champ. Play one champ, we attack for six. Is that better than playing both champs? I don't think so. I think I like playing both. They have a way to kill it. They have like a planeswalker to kill the Marwin. I want to have more stuff in blood. Yeah, I want to play both. Just better for next turn. They have a second finality, but we still have the 7-7 seven, seven in play. So there's no we have no reason to think they have another finality or not. We have no information on that. So if they have a second finality and we play one, they can just get back Chupacabras and kill the Marwin, and now we're just dead. So I think applying more pressure is better. Alright, so they have Araska. They kill Marwin. Tilt. Alright, well, I mean, at this point, we're just all in, so it's, we're going to kill Varaska. No, they, they, they can kill a thing otherwise, and we'll hit them, and we'll hope they can't play much else. Hopefully, no Carnage Tyrant, no Finality, no Find, no Chupacabra. Jade Light's fine. They hit, unfortunately. That sucks. Let's draw one of those um, banner thingies. Morning, Fate. Welcome. Good morning, Jim. Did not draw it. I mean, I, I we can't afford to not attack here, so not a good trade. But and they have contempt too. All right, all right. Well, we're dead now. Unfortunately. I mean, t we've drawn six lands this game. That is not a complainable number of lands to draw. We are through one third of our deck. We've drawn tons of extra cards. <laughs> like. Huh. <sighs> And they have a Golden Demise, too. I played my opponent's deck for the most part. I wasn't playing Karn, but once again, I gotta see what I play. Check out the video on CoolStuffInc.com. Let's draw a Beast Whisperer, Go Nuts, or Land. I don't think my opponent's straws have been godlike at all. They're just doing what their deck does. Like, why oh, is everyone so salty in chat this morning? Or that kind of sucks, and our opponent's playing the best deck in the format, and we're, we're losing, whatever. Like, it's on the end of the world, folks. The video had Karn, so the, the deck I actually played in Jersey did not. You'll Vivian read a eh?
There's the banner we wanted. Stinks. Stinks, stinks, stinks. Make a token. Sure. You got it. And they only have three cards in hand. They're mostly lands, so... So you're saying there's a chance. No, I did not play Trophy. I think Trophy's terrible. Like, actively terrible. Alright, well... Now we're just going to cast stuff, I guess. Make Marwin bigger. Defend this Vivian. Have I played Mono Blue Tempo yet? Yep, it's on my YouTube. Nicole, you don't have to go to work. You get to go to work. Genonymous, I have no idea. I'm not a finance person. City's blessing. Well, we gotta have some good draws over the next few turns. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Vivian. Show me a Beast Whisper and some Elves. That's a Morrowind. We already have a Morrowind. Can we defend Vivian next turn? Probably not. And we just attack their Karn. Uh, yeah, next turn. Oh, they attack with everything. We block, block, block. I guess we theoretically can defend it, but it is pretty difficult. And they have tons of things that can screw it up. What's uh, what's under Karn right now? I don't even know. Doesn't even show what, what cards are Karned. Oh, they're, they're here. Okay, never mind. This is the revealed cards. Craving, Lana Ralph's Druid. Yeah, they can just get Craving back. Alright, let's well, just kill Karn. Or attack Karn. Marlon's been good, honestly. I must say. I am surprisingly impressed. So they have. They don't have much, honestly. They just have lands. They just brick off for a turn or two. Oh, they have either Karn we gave them, obviously. Yeah, that happened. That was the thing that happened. I forgot about that. Okay. Alright. I mean, Vivian's real dead, obviously. Thanks, Bobby. I mean... Block and kill some stuff. I don't mind this trade. These Construct tokens are getting annoying. Uh, how about a banner? How about a forest? How about a forest? Okay. 4, 8, 12. Alright. This is, like, not that bad again. I mean, they have some 4-4s, four and we have some stuff, and they can't kill us yet. They have another Karn. This is a lot of... Alright, now this is bad. Because now they have uh, some five fives, and now it looks like we're dead. They didn't attack? That's wild. Elvish clan caller. Could be worse, I suppose. I mean. It's gonna be hard to beat this car and making tokens every turn. Surprised it didn't attack last turn, honestly. Like, once they have four five fives, like they don't even need car anymore. And if we attack them, they just kill us. So, very weird, no attack there. We only have one clan caller left in our deck, but that's a thing. So we have six mana to spend next turn, no matter what. 
And they have Vivian Reed. Drew to the cowl, okay. Make a token, yeah. That's a, that's a lot of six sixes. Still no attack. Because we have a seven seven now. Thorn Lieutenant. I mean this game's getting pretty wild. I feel like we're definitely uh, not a favorite here, but no, nah, no, no mono blue tempo. I, I played that in a on a, on a previous stream. It's on YouTube if you missed it. I'm going to get a Lord end step. That is correct. We're not really. All right, they can have the branch walker. I'm drinking. I mean, they have a lot of stuff. Uh, without some sort of way to draw more cards and get our engine going, we can't really overcome this stuff. So I'd love to draw like a banner or something. They also have an Assassin's Trophy next turn, which is annoying. Off of their Karn. It sucks Clan Caller isn't just make a token of the clan crawler because we already have two in our graveyards. We can't even use it anymore. Slash Banefire. Uh, I was summoning sick. They have Reclamation Sage. All right, well, I'd say we're, I mean, I feel like we could have died like a long time ago. What did they take? It took the black card? What was the black card? I didn't, even, I didn't even notice the black card. The moment of craving? Over Assassin's Trophy? You looked out this time. What? So you looked out this time. What'd I look out? I can't make meatloaf. I don't have... I need two eggs. I only have one. Nicole only has one egg. That's it. You're off camera. Oh, You're yeah. gonna be here you gotta be on camera? You gotta say hi to everyone. All right, so this doesn't matter. We don't actually have a thingy. Cool. Yeah, say hi to everyone. Hi, everybody. Look, we match. Yes. <laughs> Look, my forest match, too. Oh, wonderful. All nine of them. Yep. Everyone's hi to Nicole. Hi, everybody. I'm having breakfast. Oh, they have an emblem, too. All right, we're super dead. Now, that wasn't very fun. Um, Yeah, the elf deck does not seem very good. We we kind of we were we were going off in game game two there, but uh, yeah. Am I dressing up tomorrow? Am I? Mm -hmm. You gonna make the costume tonight? I'm making it tonight. Finishing it tonight. You started on it. Yeah, I have like the parts for it. All right. Nicole's making me a king like dice costume. Game. Thanks, whiskey dingo. To match John's Cuphead costume. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't seen John's Cuphead costume, it's pretty dope. I'll show it to you guys. John's my stepson, Nicole's son. We do a show called The John and Jim Show. Where we play we play a game called Cuphead. And, um... It's pretty fantastic. Pretty sweet. And Nicole made John a pretty insane Cuphead costume. See that right here? Cuphead! Pretty sweet, right? Is pretty sweet. So, Nicole's making me a King Dice costume. King Dice is the bad guy. Yeah, but. Opponent is Jeff Cunningham. That's somebody who's been playing Magic for a really, really long time. Don't recall the exact. Uh... The John and Jim Cuphead stream. You guys dressed up for stream? Um, well, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's also John's birthday. Yep. Yay, sub. Crash and Basham. I like that name. What's up, Crash? What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Deathborn, right. or Duskborn Skymarcher. 
it's be good. Cold. Don't work too hard. Um, I'll figure out what to do with the. Uh, maybe I'll make tacos tomorrow or something. What is going on here? God, I don't even know. Marwin the nurture. We're we're Mar we're definitely gonna Marwin here. They probably have no removal, so they're playing the uh, the Suntail Hawk theme deck. Shall I get more water? Uh, sure. That's thank you. Hyd hydra hydration bot would would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. What is going on? They're just like playing like a flying theme deck. All right. Well. We have to play a bunch of stuff here. Um, probably dump our whole hand. Clan caller, druid. And this taps for four. We are going to die soon to these flyers. So we need to put a lot of power in play if possible. Um, we play lieutenant here. This taps for four. Yeah, we can't. I, mean, I don't even want the druid. Play lieutenant. Tap for four. I cast Impulse. Pelt Collector, Tilt. Uh, I guess we'll take the Beast Whisperer. And play Steel Leaf Champion. Have fun. And Don't say anything mean about me on stream because I'll be listening on my way to work. Nicole Smells. And I can't defend myself. Nicole Smells. I smell good. No comment. I just showered. No comment. Pride of Conquerors. Alright, have fun. Are we dead? Bye everybody, you're dead. We're not dead. Almost dead. We're close to dead. If they have another pump effect, we're dead, but... Alright, let's play um, a bunch of crap, I guess. Sam from England is our new sub. Every card, Lightning Bolt. Every deck is Bant Turns from Battle for Zendikar Standard. What's up, Sam? Make six mana. Play throw attendant. Draw a card. Play Druid of a Cow. Draw a card. Forest. That was anticlimactic. I mean, we're attacking for a, a lot. Is that not, not going to attack? I guess. Um, we're probably going to die over the next two turns, but. Well, this is a new 5-0 list. Oh, what, the Suntail Hawk deck? Rustwing Falcon. I feel like attacking with the Lifelinker is not... Oh, they just have another thingy. Alright, I guess we're dead. Wow. I mean, our opponent just played actual, literal Suntail Hawks. And we died... We drew five lands in 15 guards. Everyone stop complaining so much. Jesus. Red black deck? No, I haven't touched that deck at all. All right, so... <laughs> uh, once again, if we had these harpooners on our sideboard, um, things would be easier. Like, opponent's deck seems horrible against harpooner because you just play it and kill it. You just FTK a 1-1. Um, it's, it's mono white shitters. That's good. Um, I don't... I guess you bring in some Vivian reads over the banners, maybe. That kind of sucked. Maybe we bring Diamond Mare, actually. I already, submit, I already submitted. You know the draw bring in Diamond Mare? Why doesn't Marwin have reach? I know, she, she has a bow, right? Our hand was good that game, too. That was a very good hand for us. Um, we literally went Lanarolf into Marwin to like spell, 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 into spell, 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 and just died. Uh, do we keep this hand? I guess. Steel Leaf Champion seems good against them. And that was, that was something else. What if your opponent plays like a Settle the Wreckage or a, a Colonnade or something, you know? Suntail Hawk for days. Ugh. We're 
Goblin Chain Whirler? Is that card? Goblin Chain Whirler is not being played very much, honestly. I, I didn't even see him on a red deck at the GP. Didn't play against it once. You drop the baby and you shoot your bow, all right? You got to defend the baby. Let's get that bow ready, you know? Well, surprised they put a Sun Lock. I'm surprised. Are you surprised? I'm surprised. A Danto Vanguard is a good card. And is a, a quality magic card. Card's very, very good. Lump, you forgot you forgot, forgot forgot the part where I said we were defending the baby by shooting the bow. So the baby shoots the bow, that works also. Twenty lands are too many? No. We need to make our land drops. Alright. They play their color 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 card. And their brick wall by the Steel Leaf Champion. We smush. And this is some like pretty old fashioned non interactive magic here. I played things, you played things. We mash our things together and see what uh see who can win. Legion's landing. Four alright, we're one short of the city's blessing. Throw baby in the air, shoot bow, then catch baby. That sounds like a very elf thing to do. Good morning, Burnsy. How's it going, bud? He's having a good, he's having a good morning. Good job, Burnsy. You got a Pokemon card in there. Look at you. They played Gird for battle. They played two. Gird for battles. What is happening? This is the most ridiculous thing that's ever happened. How do you play this card in Constructed? Alright. Um, I guess we block and trade with the Marshal because we're trying to die. It's not ideal, that's for sure, but now we're at nine. Oh, did the banner kill? I, I just screwed up. I just screwed up, didn't I? Six, twelve. Yeah, I just screwed up. Okay. Yeah, they were just dead. I I forgot about the ability on the on the slave champion. That was really bad. Uh, yeah. So I could have just bannered, attack for fourteen, and killed them. Oopsie. Punt. Um. Well, now we just kill them over two turns. I guess well, now they have life link and stuff too. Yeah, it's bad. That was really bad. Make fun of me. Punt me in chat, please. Thank you. Also, just like not attack. Um, we attack. They can, if we don't attack, they don't, they can't attack with Vanguard. They start making tokens. Um, we crash. They crash back. We don't have any good blocks. I'm just gonna stay back, I think. Because they're gonna gain life off the lamp vampire anyways, so we can't kill them in two turns. They swing, gain life, we swing back, they just kill us. So let's just stay back here and try and draw an elf next turn and get a bunch of um a bunch of elves in play. So, I mean, this... Oh, it's... Yeah, it is a vampire. That has not been relevant ever. But now it is. So, yeah. All right, well, we're, we're playing pretty bad this game. Let's stop playing crappy. Um, I didn't realize it was a vampire. And this has an ability upon vampires. It's on the board trick. Um...
Nope, I'm going to keep saying elves because it makes everyone angry. All right, let's go off here. I misclicked. Man, I'm playing awful today. Sorry, everyone. Um, to misclick my attack step. I wanted to keep casting stuff. Now if I draw a lord, I can't cast it. Ugh. All right, well, whatever. We're fine. Everything's fine. Obviously, I can draw a lord off this. Beast Whisperer. Cannot cast that one. I mean, we're worthwhile to splash white for Shalai and some stuff. I don't know, maybe. Shalai is interesting. It's a good, it's a good mana sink for um, for the Marwin thing. All right, so we block some stuff. All right, never mind. They dink in for one. All right, um, we're sort of doing it. That's not bad. Um, I would like to cast an elf and draw cards. We have six, seven, eight, we have nine mana. That's enough to, that's enough to do both these. All right, let's cast Beast Whisperer and go from there. Leaf champion. All right, let's um, let's mush with Steel Leaf. Let's see what they do. It seems like we can draw lots of cards, but the game is usually over by that point. So, sort of like, nah. They've made a token they cannot block. Alright, so they're just going to block. They're going to be at three life. We're going to Vivian and kill their flyer. And hope they don't draw a, um, what's it called? Pride of Conquerors? Wait, we're just dead now. God, we... Opponent says dot dot dot. Maybe I have something. Why assume that I'm stupid? Right. That's not the best gameplay I've played on stream in a while. Um, yeah, that was good. So I was counting on these elves being blockers, and they were not. So played that game about as bad as possible. Um, let's try again, I guess. Played so bad, my opponent literally um, dot dot dotted me in chat. I'm going for the high the high score on the punt counter here. All right. Oh. This deck does seem terrible, so it's it's not like we're like really wasting it here. Right, there's a fog was invoked, and we were short of that, unfortunately. Is Knight of Autumn an elf? Yeah, we got hit with the ellipsis. I don't know, it's kind of rude, you know? Opponent makes a mistake, and you're just like... Like, opponent makes a mistake, you know? They're human. We all make mistakes. You don't gotta rub it in. Knight of Autumn is not an elf. The deck kind of isn't that sweet. Like, it's cool. It looks cool. But in the context of the format, um, it just doesn't seem very good. Like... This is a very removal heavy and very racy format, and we're not really great against removal or decks that are racing us, you know? We're just not doing what we need to do fast enough. All right, I'll, 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 I'll play better now, I promise. All right.
you want to see me play with no Waka Waka, check out my videos on CoolStuffInc.com where I actually focus on playing. Our opponent has no removal and is not racing us, we win. That seems like a very unlikely thing. Ugly steam vents. Put them all against the five. Come on, elves. Let's go. Golgari Raiders? That's kind of cool. Is, Gal is Golgari Raiders an elf? Clan Caller or Whisperer? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with Whisperer here. Yeah, we're probably dead. Our Raiders is an elf. I I can get down with that card in the sideboard. This deck needs, needs, needs a better sideboard, I think. Maybe with a better sideboard, this deck can be can be reasonable. Yep, can't kill that. So if I don't kill my, my Beast Whisperer here. We might be all right. Sweet Demi. Okay, this is a fair hand. Ooh. So, so I mean, the these setup cards like that require a setup turn or like, you know, it's tough. I would love we cast Banner here, and they only have two cards in hand. Like we're going to draw a million cards next turn. Might just die, but... So if we were to update this deck, we want some Golgari Raiders in the board. We want some Harpooners in the board. Um... Yeah, I mean, they're just, like, not doing anything. I mean, our opponents aren't going to do anything. It's pretty easy to win. Also, the only real mana explosion we have is Marwyn. As far as, like, being able to keep going. If we play Atlanta, or else I want to draw a Steely Champion. No, we did not, did not do that. We're going nuts. We've drawn many, many cards. We did it! Our opponent didn't do anything and we killed them. There's some Death Gorge scab. Like, like these, the sideboard seems awful. The sideboard's like, these, these seem terrible, these seem terrible. These don't even seem good. I don't even know what these are good against. The sideboard's pretty bad. Um, maybe we'll fix this deck and play it again. Yes, you guys want to fix this deck and play it again? Maybe we'll do that. Yes, my opponent has a Yargle avatar. I know, I saw. I noticed. All right, we'll do a poll at the end of the league. Maybe we'll, this is going pretty quickly, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll, we'll run it back. Mania, Risa. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Just playing some standard today. And if uh, you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Watching on Twitch, make sure you follow on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe. Any of a stream is the best way to support me as a Magic player and a streamer. It's my full-time gig. This is what I do. I write articles on CoolStuffInc.com. Stream here on Twitch. Videos on YouTube. Travel to tournaments with Team BCW. Um, and yeah, so for as of all of your support, I can do it. So thank you. Splash White for Conclave Tribunal. I mean, Tribunal's good and all. Are you gonna die, 
One thing is, once you splash, you see we're splashing white, it's fine. Um, are we going to concede to our opponent because we're 3 Why would we do that? If they want to win, they should win. You know? What's my favorite color? Get the mulberry sleeves. The mulberry are the nice sleeves. Add red for Frenzy and Banefire. Um, Frenzy and Beast Whisperer do not play well together. We also don't really have a way to clear off the extra lands. So if we hit land, land with Frenzy, it kind of stinks. Um, splashing for March. That seems like more of what we already have. Um... I submitted, right? Yeah, I submitted. We'll take a look for other elves quickly in other colors. Um, I mean, I guess Conclave Tribunal is pretty cool. It does seem like Pell Collector is not great, but it is a, it is a one, one mana elf. I think having a one mana elf for um, Beast Whisper is important. Conclave, Flower, and Radiant Destiny. And the Immortal Sun. The Immortal Sun's kind of cool. I could buy the Immortal Sun. In fact, the Immortal Sun almost seems like a better Vanquisher's Banner. We have mana. Yes, we do. We have mana. How about you? You know, if you're gonna splash colors, it's like you gotta you gotta like figure out what the weaknesses are and try and shore up those weaknesses. And Conclave Tribunal does sort of do that. Flower Flourish doesn't seem bad either. Can make all of the um the ponders into those. Speaking of ponder. So now if they have a uh, a cannonade. I don't want to cast this second Lano or Elf. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold on to it. Probably should have cast the Impulse first, but I'm almost assuredly playing the Druid of the Cow. Ken, congrats, my friend. Almost whiff there on Impulse. Splashing is very easy. It requires us to play a Plains if we're playing Flower, I guess, but Shalai is kind of cool. Right, we gotta draw a spell here. And this, the Puck Collectors do seem very bad. Um, and now we can't really not play into a Cannonade, so I don't really know what to do. Yeah, like Pell Collector seems awful. For the most part, it's just a 1-1. One, one. I mean, we can't really afford to just sit... Whatever, I'm just going to play everything. We can't really afford to just sit here, so... I have enough mana to, to fetch up another one of these next turn. Um, I'm going to attack for 2 rather than play Lionel Elf. They definitely have it. That was way too fast. Yeah, obviously they have it. Yeah. Okay. I think Pelt is a great card, but none of our none of our creatures make it bigger. So, like, we have, like, the five fours that make it bigger and some two threes. That's really it. Ken, new sub. Ken, what's the name where you're from? Welcome, my friend. Paul Collector into Thorn Lieutenant? I mean, it's a, it's a 2 2. It's not even that good. We still kind of want the one drops, but.
chart a course. Maximize velocity. Ah, oh, we got more subs here. We got 20 and Hard Beast. New sub returning sub. What's up, my friends? Thanks for subbing. Thanks for returning. Appreciate that. Yeah, the problem is that um, a lot of times it feels like we could make the Pell Collector grow, but we'd rather cast other things. So, because the it's more important to get our engine online than to get to attack for two. So, this is not really a stompy deck, correct? We're probably going to die next turn, but... Like they have four cards in hand. Any Drake has haste. I'm worried, Burns. Are you worried? I'm worried too. Radical idea. Shock us. That's nine. Shock us. That's ten. We're dead exactly. Vomit. Vomit. Elf pirates? I feel like elves and pirates don't really mix, you know? Are there any elf pirates? Because I feel like elves are like too proper to be pirates. Elf, 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 elf. Changelings are, yes, they are technically elves and they are technically pirates. Curse changelings. Unreal says, I'm going ice skating for the first time tomorrow. Any tips? Tie your skates very, very tight. This is stupid. However tight you think it should be, it should be tighter than that. My first time ice skating, I was like 11. I went on like a school trip, and I was like too cool to, to tie my skates right. I almost broke my ankles. Your skate should be on your foot, right? You should not be able to move your ankle like left and right. So like, it should be one solid, it should be like there's a splint on your ankle. Very, very important. Um, We're gonna bottom this. Try to get lucky and draw Steel Leaf on turn two. But yeah, have fun. Ken from New Jersey, playing since uh, Khan's favorite deck is Legacy Elves, puppy named Dog or Karn. What's up, Ken? Thanks for seven. Oh, that's that's brutal. You will multi five, get our elf shocked. That is bad. Yeah. Yeah. How does that compare to the Rakdos deck that I dropped in the league to fix? Um I mean, the Rakdos deck was better because it had better cards in it. The problem with this deck is, like, it looks cool in a vacuum, like, but it just, like, it's a deck that's built without the format in mind, you know? Like, if you were to, like, just look at all the cards in the format and not know any of the cards that exist in this format, and you were to build it, build, like, an elf deck, this is probably what it would look like, but... And our opponent's mana screw, are we going to win? That's tough. Individual card quality is not great. The problem is, like, again, this deck is just, like, good at, like, building a board and drawing cards. The problem is that in this format, most decks are killing all of your creatures or killing you quickly. So neither of these things work too well. Green White Angels seems fine. Another shock. Okay. Well, 
They're mana screwed. We only get to five. We're kind of mana screwed. This is fun. This is fun. Think we're in trouble. All right, we can draw land here like real bad. I guess that plays. Yeah, I mean, the mono blue deck kills your opponent quickly and has good elements in the format. Like, the counter spells are good. Essence Scatter is really good. Disable Stroke is good. Um, you know, and it protects its creatures somewhat well. So. Uh, Beast Whisperer is, it's not great. The upfront cost is very high and it's very vulnerable. If it was a 2-4, it would be a lot better. Although Lava Coil is one of the most important cards in the format. Why attack? Because they might not block. They paused and thought about it for a while. We ain't blocking. Why not attack? Oh my god. Alright, we have drawn our Beast Whisperer. I'm attacking again. They blocked again. They got me. So like here, you know, we play Beast Whisperer, cool, maybe we'll draw some cards. They're just gonna kill us. You know, they just have these two huge drakes. So like, in a matchup like this, it doesn't really matter. Other decks can just kill it, so. Chart a course. Discarding a Phoenix, that is bad for us. So I attack for like 11, and we just die. We draw a Lord, they're dead, I guess. They left the Phoenix back. They are smart. Yep, we would have killed them if they didn't leave Phoenix back. Smart opponent are the worst kind of opponents. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Okay. All right, we're going to, we're going to drop in this league. And the question will be: Do you folks want to fix? Oh, wow! Still had all these. Still had all of these. So. We are going to drop in this league, and we are going to run a vote on should we keep playing this deck and fix it or not. Because the sideboard is really bad. The sideboard is like it's awful. Uh, with a better sideboard, we'll be more competitive for sure. Um, so the question is, should we keep going or no? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a chat. I'm gonna make a vote in chat. Whatever the chat says, we'll do it. It's a lot of no's so far. So. Um, no, move on. All right, everyone just saying move on. All right, we're done. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. Don't play Elves and Standard. Um, we obviously punted one round, but whatever. Uh, deck seems bad. No, it's a pretty clear pretty clear move on, it looks like. So um, we have tons more decks to play. We got um, a deck that I built called Whiteout. Seems pretty cool. We got uh, Rakdos Burn, Turbo Niv Mizzet, uh, Boros Angels, etc., etc. So a ton more stuff to do. So if you're watching on YouTube... Hey, not all, not every deck works. Go watch another video, all right? And then uh, the stream will continue. The YouTube will not. So YouTube, follow and find a, a better video to watch because uh, that elf deck kind of sucked. It looked cool. And again, the problem here is that, like I said, like I said earlier, we'll do a quick wrap up. Basically, um, the deck is cool in a vacuum, but is not understanding how the format works. You know, so um, when you build your decks, you want your deck to be linear. But 
you need to be aware of the format in some regard. We can't beat a Drake. Um, we can't really beat Fine Finality. And those are literally the two biggest decks in the format. So, it is what it is. All right. Elf folks. Sorry, elves. Go away. <laughs>